that resonates with me a lot because I think I have a lot more fun climbing than I used to. Um, because it's so much better than changing diapers and dealing. <laughs> you're like, thank God I'm climbing for a couple hours. Yeah. And it's like, it's a break instead of the thing that you're supposed to do and you're supposed to go perform and there's pressure. Now you're like, oh, I gotta go climbing and just like, there's not going to be any noise and I don't have to like be picking someone up all day. And I used to take it for granted. This is Climbing Gold. So speaking of that, I mean, we just saw you in Bishop and, and you climbed everything's karate, the hardest route in Pine Creek, 14 plus, whatever. I mean, it's pretty freaking hard. And you were literally climbing for an hour and a half every other day, basically, <laughs> between parenting and dealing and van lifing. And I mean, you were, yeah. you know, when you think in the, the modern era of like ultra training and sending and like, I don't know, all the the way people normally climb hard, I was like, you were literally climbing so little. And just going max effort. I guess my question is, how much of your climbing style is just natural to you? And how much of that is like a parenting thing? I mean, I think it's both. Like in Pine Creek, it was pretty extreme. We kind of arrived with no plan. Like we didn't have childcare. We were just going to meet up with different friends. But like those friends were you guys, <laughs> both of yeah. you. Uh, and everyone has their own kids and their own objectives and everything. So it was sort of a mess. Um, but I think my natural climbing style is like well suited to having a kid in the sense that I've never climbed a lot. Like I always do pretty short climbing days, a lot of rest, but when I'm on the wall, I'm trying super hard. So I think I'm, I'm just not a volume climber. Like both of you are, I'm satisfied with like two really hard pitches for the day. And that's like a full day of climbing for me and it works and it always has. And so it's not a huge shift, but I think the mental shift is really different where you're like, oh, there's like probably someone back at camp screaming while I'm up here climbing and like someone struggling with my kid. And, um, you know, there's like a lot more going on. And so the focus isn't as, you just don't have like the capacity to focus as much on climbing, but the time commitment is fine. It, it works. How do you guys both manage that, that sort of guilt of being away? When, when you are climbing, you're sort of like, oh, I should hustle this last pitch so I can get home because I know that either my partner is struggling with the baby or, you know, like a nanny or a helper or somebody is struggling with the baby. You're always kind of like, oh, I should probably get home because I feel like I used to always do a couple extra pitches at the end of the day or like, you know, check out that zero star 512 over on the right side of the crag where you're like, I've always wondered if that route's cool. But you know that realistically, it's going to take you like an hour to like get chalk on it and figure it out. And you're kind of like, you know, I don't really have an hour. I should just go home and not climb that extra pitch. It's like, I mean, do you, do you guys struggle with that kind of the the time side of parenting? I, I think for me, I used to struggle more a few months ago and I've gotten better at kind of really enjoying the time that I have to climb and then being able to like accept and let go of the fact that I don't climb as much as I used to. Like I used to climb a lot more than I do now and maybe I'm more like on Paige's side. And I don't climb as much. I still climb a lot, but I don't climb near as much as I used to. But I enjoy my climbing a lot more. So I think that's what has shifted for me. It's like, yeah, I don't do as much. But the time that I am climbing, I'm actually really present and enjoying it a lot more. And then I can completely shift and go be with Arrow and be okay with that. Yeah, that resonates with me a lot because I think I have a lot more fun climbing than I used to. Um because it's so much better than changing diapers and dealing. <laughs> you're like, thank God I'm climbing for a couple hours. Yeah. And it's like, I, it's a break instead of the thing that you're supposed to do and you're supposed to go perform and there's pressure. Now you're like, oh, I gotta go climbing and just like, there's not going to be any noise. And I don't have to like be picking someone up all day. And I used to take it for granted. Like I got to go to the gym and go climb for as long as I want. And now if I have two hours and it's just me and I get to go like kilter board by myself, I'm like, oh. This is so fun. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah. Like luxury. Yep. I made Put a goal your... this year that, cause I don't, I don't go outside that much. Like when I'm on a trip working on a project, I'll be outside. But when I'm home, I mostly climb in the gym. Um, and this year I was like, I want to climb outside once a week, which to you guys is like laughable. Cause you're outside a lot more than that. But I just, I was like, I should get out of the gym and just be outside. And it's been so fun. And I think I do value that time a lot more. Um, Does that mean you're going to run out of roots in Colorado in, in about a year, though? If you're coming outside one day a week, you're going to be like, oh, no. I tapped no, because I'm only bouldering. And, uh, I'm okay. only bouldering, and there's tons of boulders. 
Okay, if you're only bouldering, then you'll never tap out the front range. <laughs> no, especially at my level. So yeah, it's totally, fine. totally. You, you got a ways to go.